The Nador case we've been following closely. We're getting new information on the investigation into the drowning death of a special needs girl back in October at Rogers Middle School and the changes that may come because of that. Our Ashley Glass joins us from Tampa where a news conference on this case just wrapped up. Good evening, Ashley. Good evening, Linda, and the superintendent points out nothing can bring back little Jenny Caballero, but she does want people held responsible. And now, starting with four school employees, she either wants fired or demoted. It is also necessary to hold people accountable. Accountable after the October 2012 drowning death of Jenny Caballero, a special needs student at Rogers Middle School. Superintendent Mary Ellen Elia wants four people out of their jobs because of it, starting at the top with Principal Sharon Tomicki. Our investigation reflects she was aware there were problems with the aides and did not take necessary actions in a timely way. Elia wants the principal bumped down to an assistant principal. She's also suggesting the assistant principal at Rogers Middle, Sean Livingston, be reassigned as a teacher, saying he too was made aware of problems with AIDS and didn't do enough about it. Just today, both were put on paid leave. They were the staff members most directly responsible for re supervising the special education students. And that includes AIDS. Elia wants AIDS, Terrence Sowa and Patricia Tobin Fired. Five aides were supposed to be watching Caballero at the time of her death. Elia says other aides in question have resigned, retired, or the school district finds they were on a scheduled break when Caballero died. As the full board is set to take up these recommendations next week, board member April Griffin points out even this is not the end of it. I think that this is going to be an ongoing discussion for quite a while, and I think that there are a lot of other considerations and a lot of other recommendations that need to be implemented. This is this is not over now. We've learned the assistant principal, Sean Livingston, will fight this. That's what his lawyer tells us. And today, in calling the principal and both aides, I was either abruptly told no comment or my calls were not returned. Now, if the school board next week approves these terminations or demotions, I'm told they will take effect immediately. Live at the school district offices, Ashley Glass, ABC Action News.